So let us finish with a quiz on eligibility traces in comparison with NSTEP SARSA, and we start with NSTEP SARSA. So the idea is the following. We are in some graph, and we start in a start state as zero, and we take an action, we come to state as one, we take an action, we come to state as two, we take an action, we come to state as three, and then we continue. And now this red path is simplified here. We start in state as zero, and then we have a total of 13 steps until we find the terminal state. And now I read the text. All Q values have been initialized at zero. The first episode starts in start and ends after 13 steps in the terminal state. In step five, the reward is one. All other rewards are zero. And then the discount factor gamma is 0.95. Is the following true after the end of the first episode? And we have three different claims that we take together. With three steps SARSA, only one Q value has increased. That would be the one three steps before the reward. So the reward is here. The one three step before is this Q value, Q of S2A2. Second possibility, with three steps SARSA, three Q values have been increased. Those three steps, two steps, and one step before the reward. So it would be this one here, as well as this one, as well as this one. And third, possibly none of the above. Take a moment to think about the algorithm and how it would work here, Take into account that all Q values have been initialized at zero. And then I will give the answer, if you still want to think, please pause the video. And the answer comes now. Only the second answer is correct. So with three steps SASA, three Q values are increased, and that's the three before the reward. And this is the case where we have one single reward in step five. And now one additional bonus question. The claim is, the increase is biggest for QS4A4. So we now we know that three Q values are updated, Q of S2A2, Q of S3A3, Q of S4A4, and the claim is the last one, Q of S4A4 will have the biggest increase. Yes or no? And the answer is yes. So with this discount factor, gamma 0.95, the biggest increase would be closest to the reward, 0.95, then it's about 0.9 here, and 0.85 for three steps before. Now let's redo the same for an algorithm with eligibility traces. Here's the same text, same setting, all Q values have been initialized at zero, the first episode starts in start. It ends after 13 steps in a terminal state. The only reward is at R at state five, R5 equal one. The decay factor of the eligibility trace is 0.95. Is the following true after the end of the first episode? And we have three possibilities that I read. Using SARSA with eligibility traces, only one Q value has increased, or using SARSA with eligibility traces, five Q values have increased, or using SARSA with eligibility traces, all Q values have increased. Take a moment to think, and then I give the answer, and the answer comes now. Only the second answer is correct. The five Q values that will be increased are the five before the reward, and they come with slightly different weights, and the weights would be biggest for the one just before the reward, and then slowly decay it down. And it's only five steps because there are no steps before a zero. Otherwise, it would extend towards infinity.